on the top that I found. I dropped my sister off, um, and I'm all alone again now. And I'm outside of Moab, and I found this mountaintop that I could get to that's free camping for me because I could just all the other like fifth wheels and RVs and stuff had to stay at the bottom but I drove up to the top which was a really rough road to be fair and I'm hoping I can get down <laughs> but it is glorious up here uh, it's very windy and very rainy but I feel quite accomplished been living out here in the wilderness for days by myself, all alone. I haven't spoken to another human being in so long. I'm just kidding. Uh, I really haven't actually. I have been alone for a while now. My sister left days ago and I'm just out here. I had to stay in Moab longer than anticipated because I had some work I needed to do. So I just did it on my Jeep here because I had a little cell service. Luxurious at this mountaintop all by myself. But um, it's time to go back down into town uh reacclimate and then leave Moab because it's time to move on. I will miss it here. I really do like it here, but I think I've explored it enough and um I think it'll be a bit cheaper to go down to more south into maybe Bryce Canyon, Zion, find some hot springs, you know. And we'll see if Yuki makes it down there. Not only haven't I been showering, but I've been using bug spray as perfume because it smells really good. And also it might uh repel the mosquitoes. There's no mosquitoes here. <laughs> but it's made with essential oils. And I just think it smells real nice. It smells real nice. I'm absolutely feral out here. <laughs> Wilderness. I don't use perfume, I use box spray. <laughs> Cottage cheese, not the best travel food because it needs to be refrigerated, but like I'll eat half of it one day and then the next half the next day. And salsa. Both things don't really keep, but I like to keep around. But despite me be uh, acting like I'm dirty and stuff, I'm actually a really clean person. Like I get baby wipe baths, every, like full baby wipe bath. I put my makeup on, I put it in dry shampoo and stuff. I'm actually quite clean. I even shaved today um, with a baby wipe. So anyways, this mountaintop has been absolutely beautiful to stay on, but yeah. I always forget something. <laughs> Wait, oh. what's going on? This has never happened. Oh, shice. God damn it, no. Duh. I can't get it open. Oh, my towel got stuck in there. I need my tire in. Anyways. I liked this towel. It's the only one I have. All right, good omen. Let's go.
All right, so I just did a workout because I don't know when I'm gonna have the gym again. Whew. That was a very longer drive than I thought it was going to be because of the uphill. It's pretty brutal. But I'm finally here, somewhere in the middle of the somewhere. <laughs> And let me show you my little house that I have tonight. So it's a it's a little barn tiny house. And it's so cute. And it's cheap too. It's only like $48 a night. There's a loft up here. Cute. That will be nice. <laughs> We did it though. We got to here. I'm getting really tanned and I'm, I've been putting sunblock on and everything, but like, I feel like just driving here, I got a tan. Look. Got all these little things in here. Especially excited about this. It's organic Newman's own coffee. I got some of these, uh, what are they called? Golden berries. And I forgot how much I like them. I've never tried golden berries. I highly recommend them. They're like a sweet tomato. And they're really good. So the reason that I came to this particular Airbnb is because it's right beside two different places for hot springs. One of them is like a resort that looks really, really cool. And then the other one is one that's free that you kind of have to drive slash hike to get to. So I wanted to do one of those or maybe I'm ambitious both. I don't think this is really hot spring season, but I wanted to do hot springs like after we left Salt Lake, but we just never got to it. So I really want to find one. So this is kind of in between Zion and Moab, and I'm driving down through the canyons. So I had to go up through Moab and come back down, and hopefully I'll get down to like Zion, maybe Arizona, I'm not sure yet. But so that's the plan, man. I slept in a nice bed last night and I slept terrible. I don't know why. I've been sleeping, like last night my car slept pretty good. I get so exhausted that I just fall asleep, but in this bed and kind of just chilling out last night, I'm like, hmm, a little too easy. I think I like a challenge too much at this point. So today I wanna to go to the hot springs and find those by myself and see what that's all about. And that's the goal for today. All right, let's make some coffee. A honey stick for my coffee. That was really nice. I usually don't drink coffee anymore. Comment below if you like coffee or tea better. I found them and it was so easy. And I ran in and I touched it. I'm like, oh, it's warm. <laughs> and it's not that hot out right now and I'm the only one here. This is lovely. I've never gone to a natural hot springs. I think this is good for your skin because of the natural clay. I spoke too soon, there's people coming. I didn't get to get a lot of footage at the hot spring because a bunch of people, like right whenever I got in, a bunch of people started um, coming in. But when I was there, I found a bunch of red clay on the side, so I put it all over myself and just baked in it. Now I look really orange, but my skin feels so like, soft. I think I'm going to try to go to the hot spring again tomorrow. So then I went on a little hike up um, this mountain.
following this road for a very, very long time up the mountain. And then I was all the way on the highway uphill and my Jeep is starting to overheat. And I stopped and the coolant is bubbling. And so I turned the AC off immediately. I'm like, gotta stop running that. Um, and I'm boiling. And the views are absolutely beautiful. Nobody is up here except for me. Oh my gosh, the views. God. Guys, I'm gonna just like let my Jeep cool down. I'm gonna park it in the shade over here. Oh my god, this is probably the most beautiful campsite I have ever found. In the shade. And look at what I'm looking at over. I don't even know if you can tell how magnificent this is on video. But look. And I'm the only one here. <gasps> ah! This is, this is what, this is heaven. This is all worth it. Going from Pennsylvania to Asheville, Asheville to Utah, Salt Flats, getting my Jeep fixed, driving it all the way down here, worth it. Even if my Jeep is broken down for the rest of my life, whatever, I don't care, I would figure it out. This is worth it. I've never been somewhere so beautiful. This has been an amazing adventure. This isn't the end, but this is glorious. Stay extraterrestrial, thank you for coming with me on this crazy adventure. I mean, I'm gonna end the video here now. Stay tuned for the next video. Stay extraterrestrial as well. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.